Hello. Uh, first off, uh, I just want to address. I sound a bit different, I, or if I do come off that way, um, which I'm sure I do, because I do for myself. But I've been uh, kind of sick uh, earlier in the week. Uh, my th throat was hurting quite a bit, and I cough. I've been coughing quite a lot um, recently. And again, it's just like a cold. This time of year gets colder where I live, so this sort of happens quite often, honestly, this time of year. It's not surprising. I find usually it happens, it affects me for like a week or so. Um, <clears throat> still coughing. Sort of hurts a bit when I cough, but, you know, I just want to get that out of the way, so to any returning viewers, subscribers, uh, have been with me for a while. Uh, I know I don't have a whole lot compared to many others, but you know, to any who have returned over and over, um, just want to address that. So uh, there you go. You don't have to necessarily comment uh, as to why do I sound a bit different. Uh, so there you go. Today I want to talk about a movie that is my age, which is 25 years old. Uh, there's various films, obviously, that came out back in 94. A lot of them were fantastic. Um, I love many of them. Uh, I'm going to talk about my favorite one, my favorite film of 1994, and that's hard to do at times, sometimes to narrow down what your favorite movie is, what you think the best film is of the year. Sometimes favorite and best are often different. To me, with something like this, I... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, more about the coughing. Uh, it's not as frequent, but still happens. Um, <clears throat> to me, I do... This isn't my favorite film of, two, of 1994. 2000s. Sorry. Not 2000s. But this movie... Yeah, uh, 1994 is my favorite movie of that year. Uh, it's also what I think is the best film of that year. It has a huge fan base now. Didn't make much money. Got favorable reviews. Obviously from the title and the thumbnail, you know what this movie is, but maybe some people just clicked on this video. Just be... Sometimes by accident, you try to get to one video and you click on something you, you didn't mean to. And, uh, yeah, that's happened to me a few times, so, yeah. And the film I'm talking about is The Shawshank Redemption, um, written and directed by Frank Darabont. This is my favorite film of 1994. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is in my top 20 favorite movies. Um, in a top ten list, I believe, some time ago. Um, but then this, this is in the next <coughs> ten, I think. Maybe like number thirteen or so. I think Taxi Driver would be eleven. Cuckoo's, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest is twelve. I think this is thirteen. I could be mistaken, but I think so. Otherwise, I, I might want to rechange it, because... I, know, I love these three films, those films I've mentioned so much that either of any of them could be could have potentially <coughs> slotted into the tenth spot for me. Um, <clears throat> but I just you know you got to go with what you're what you enjoy the most when it comes to favorites uh, usually. Um, and and all, even best times and um, but I love this movie. I remember I actually saw this movie when I was five years old. You might think that's a bit odd, and I can understand that. But the Green Mile came out in '99. This is, makes this film 20 years old, and I will get to this later this month. I know I said I was gonna do stuff about Christmas. But I got to thinking, and I'm like, you know, I did sort of like a Christmas sort of theme, like, last year. 
kind of, and even the year before that, I just kind of want to, I don't know, I didn't want to necessarily do a themed thing annually, like I initially thought, because I thought, like, as I thought about it, it kind of just, I don't know, I might get bored if I don't have, if I'm not inspired to talk about a movie um, at a certain time, I might just be sort of, uh, not being very enthused as I probably should be. I t give my dis talk, my discussion on this film, or my thoughts, or whatever I'm doing right now. Um, for instance, whether it's positive or negative, and this is positive. I've said it's my favorite film from 1994. I think this is the best film from 1994. I know many will say Pulp Fiction, and I, and that is a very good movie. Forrest Gump is very good which won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Speed is a fine movie. It's a fun film. Uh, I know many might not say, oh, it deserved, like, Oscars for, like, like, top categories of Best Picture and all that, but it's a very good film, fun action film. The Lion King came out in 94. Oh, so many movies. Um, quiz Show, I believe. The, uh, yeah, Robert Redford film, he directed it, yeah, I think so, but anyway, I love the Shawshank Redemption, the story of Andy Dufresne going to prison for a crime he didn't commit, and uh, his, uh, becoming uh, his friendship with, uh, Red is is just it's just a great story, you know. Uh, um, it's it's just a, it's just fantastic, honestly. Uh, this is one of those films that words can't do justice to. Just watch the movie, even if you don't think it's the best movie of '94, or would be perhaps your favorite film of 94 it is definitely a great movie or at the very least good I enjoy the Shawshank Redemption I try to watch it as often as I can I saw this film on the big screen this year for its 25th anniversary and that was incredible I've actually seen it on the big screen before that too <coughs> <coughs> And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's very good. Um, the performances are incredible. I wish Morgan Freeman won Best Actor. I would have loved to have seen him win. Um, I think he would, it, it, that would have been a great, a great, uh, great win. But Forrest, uh, Forrest Gump won for Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks won for that film. Uh. And he was very good in Forrest Gump, but I think Freeman was better, uh, particularly with the nominees. Um, you know, yeah, it, it, it's it's just great performance. Same with uh, you know T uh, Tim Robbins; he's incredible. Uh, all the acting is just fantastic. And I know that a video like this is not going to be very, is probably very, well, it might be seen as lazy, because I'm not very, I'm not giving any real details, but just trying to give my general thoughts on, I just enjoy this film. I think the story is uh, just incredible. Man set up, and uh, it goes to prison for, like, life. And spoiler alert, if you've never seen the movie, he escapes, and throughout the film, there's corruption with the, <coughs> within the prison, you know, the warden, and, um, yeah, uh, Clancy Brown, if you're a fan of Spongebob, that's Mr. Krabs, and he's the main guard who uh, 
He's very foul mouthed, and he just he beats on people. <clears throat> Kills somebody in the film. Um, it, it, he's ju it's just it's a fantastic film. This is a Stephen King adaptation, too. Uh, adaptation from a Stephen King uh, st short story. Hence why I watched it around the time this came out on the big screen. Uh, and um, my mom watched it with me, and it was like on HBO or something. It was uncut, so heard all the swearing and... <laughs> So what violence there was. It's not a very violent film, but exactly. But there is a decent amount of violence in here. That at five years old, uh, you know, that'd be quite shocking or anything. But I, but I just really liked the story. I like the characters and everything at a young age. It's the first R-rated film I ever saw. The beginning to end. I mean, I saw. I mentioned, I believe, Scream. When I was younger, like maybe like a year or two before, uh, shared a <clears throat> room with my sister and um, yeah, because uh, just the living situation we were in. Saw Drew Barrymore get killed at the beginning of the film, and then went back to sleep. Something for whatever reason woke me up just before she got killed. And I saw her get killed and fall to the ground. Then I went back to sleep. So it was my first glimpse at an R-rated film, but this is the first R-rated movie I ever saw. And it has always been one of my favorite films. It's my favorite Stephen King movie, or at least adaptation from one of his stories, books, whatever. Uh, and The Green Mile, for me, is uh, my second. And also, I really think it has to go to Frank Darabont, because he wrote and directed those two films. He's also done other adaptations for Stephen <laughs> King uh, stories. And he's a, he's like one of those filmmakers who's able to uh, do the source material justice onto the big screen because some of the big screen adaptations of Stephen King books or short stories, uh, they just don't do it justice. Like maybe they're good films, but they don't do the material justice. Now, you know, The Shining, Kubrick did his own thing with it <coughs> for a good part of the film. That's well known, and um, I think that's I think that uh, sort of helps work in the benefit of the film. I mean, would it have been would it have been a better film if he was close to the source material? Maybe, but then we have the mini, like the TV version of The Shining, and that's not received as well. So uh, that also, I guess, should be taken into account. But Frank Darabont is able to take, which was a short story again, and he took some liberties, like, for instance, the character of Red. He's a short, white, red-haired Irishman in the short story yet he's now in the movie a six-foot-one black man uh, played by Morgan Freeman and he always just wanted Morgan Freeman anyway because he could just see him and love to hear well hear his voice narrate the film and Morgan Freeman is incredible to me uh, this is his best performance of his career He's done. He's given so many great performances, but for me, the, the Shawshank Redemption is a, a real triumph for uh, Freeman's uh, career. Honestly, uh, in my opinion, maybe you might think another performance is better. Uh, I even think that for uh, Tim Robbins, uh, I think in a way Tim Robbins could have also gotten nominated for an Academy Award. But he didn't. Um, <clears throat> then obviously, though, of course, you know, with like awards and all, uh, sometimes when you have two actors or actresses in the uh, nominated in the same category, unless one is seen as better than the other, uh, 
uh, since they can't tie, it seems like anymore. Uh, it's such a it was such a rare thing, but they pretty much put a stop to ties and acting happening. Sort of split the vote. So obviously, it's like who 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 was somebody who people would truly remember best from Shawshank Redemption in terms of leading actor category in a way who leaves the biggest impression well that would be Morgan Freeman because he narrated the film so nominate him for the major awards um, I think uh, Tim Robbins got nominated for a SAG with Freeman if I'm not mistaken I think they both got nominated but they both lost I think to Tom Hanks because Tom Hanks uh, won back to back with Philadelphia and Forrest Gump um I think he deserved it more for Philadelphia than Forrest Gump. I mean, Forrest Gump is a very good film. Um, and he gives a very good performance. But uh, if I was going to say who was I the most impressed with in that film, I think Gary Sinise. He was just incredible in that film. Gary Sinise is incredible anyway. So is Tom Hanks. You know, I love Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is incredible. Um, but, yeah. Shawshank Redemption wasn't a big success in theaters. Uh, apparently, even some said it had to do with the title. People had no clue about the title. Shank Shank Redemption. Redemption. Shank Shaw Redemption. Seesaw Redemption. Just stuff like that. They kept confusing the title, apparently. Uh, I guess they didn't really pay much attention to it when it was advertised or anything but apparently that was a constant uh, that was a thing they kept noticing when people wanted to see this movie because oh Morgan Freeman Tim Robbins some of the other actors that are in it wow and sort of like the description sounds interesting but I guess because they couldn't remember the movie title they uh, saw something like Pulp Fiction saw Lion King or whatever else was out around the time <laughs> Shawshank was in theaters but funny enough, uh, funnily enough or oddly enough or whatever word you want to say the film uh, I don't know if I should say it's a cult film because it's so beloved now that and it was nominated for Academy Awards and all that so could could that uh, would you call that a cult film? Now, maybe if only Morgan Freeman got nominated and they just got honored with that nomination because he was so good, maybe one could call it a cult film, but it sold incredibly well on home video, on VHS. It was the number one VHS rental of 95. Yeah. Had more rental and I think even just sales in general of owning and renting uh, more sales than Pulp Fiction and uh, Forrest Gump. Now I'm not sure if that's also combined or just individually but I mean people when they found out about Shawshank Redemption on, vi on home video oh, they just people just rented that and watched it so many times probably eventually bought it <coughs> If those, if that's, look, uh, those sales have nothing to do with buying. Uh, people probably eventually just bought the movie after renting it so many times for <coughs> places like Blockbuster. But, uh, yeah, I just love this movie. It's an incredible movie. I enjoy the story and just the friendship that... <coughs> <laughs> Andy and Red have uh, in the friendship Andy makes with all the prisoners with the various prisoners I should say <coughs> sorry there's some prisoners who don't like him or may like him but in a different way yeah. but yeah um, I just uh 
I just love this film. Um, and I think I'll leave it there before I choke him. <coughs> or anything from coughing. So, what do you think of this film? Do you enjoy it? Do you think it is the best or one of the best? Do you think it deserved <coughs> more appreciation? Ugh, oh, when it came out. <coughs> oh, this sucks. Uh, yeah, coughing sucks. Um, or what? Are you happy with how it is received now? So, yeah, my eyes are watering, yeah. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. <coughs> Hope you all have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Till next time. See you all.